Welcome to the Design and Knit 9 video learning series. In this particular video, we'll be working in the Design and Knit Graphics Studio section of the program. And we will be looking at how to convert machine knit punch cards into stitch patterns very rapidly. The first thing that you need to do is to convert your punch card into a computer graphic file. The easiest option to do this is to simply place your punch card face down on your scanner bed, cover the punch card with a piece of black paper so the holes are darker, scan in the design and save it as a graphic file. So I'm going to open my graphics directory and here I have this punch card. We'll do this one first. And this particular one is 24 stitches wide and 24 rows high. My image type is diagram, and that's because this background is dark grayish blue. And indeed, if I look under image type, I can confirm that. And the picture has a white background. The picture could convert this as a black and white image, but the diagram setting is specifically fine-tuned for black and white and gray and white images to make you the most successful converting punch cards and magazine charts. So quickly turn the grid settings on, 24 stitches and 24 rows, that's correct. You can move the grid corners independently if it's slightly skewed. Uh, this one looks okay, so I'm going to turn that off. And that's because it will move faster. And I'm going to move the opposite corner. And it looks actually quite good. This is the conversion button preview and this is what it would look like converted and that's actually perfect so let's say okay i'm going to save these settings i'm going to be doing this in fair isle but i'm not going to be knitting this on a kh 970 this time i'm going to be knitting it on a standard punch card knitting machine okay and I'm going to change my tensions. Let's say they're going to be eight and 11. And if I look at this for repeats, let's say three repeats, and there you go, voila. All we have to do is say save and uh, start knitting. Let's go back to the design in it graphics section, clicking here. I'm not going to save this. Let's do another one. Open a graphic file. I have this one here. Open. We have our image type is diagram. We know that because the background is bluish gray. Grid settings. This time it's 24 stitches and 28 rows high. I'm not going to check off they move independently because this is pretty straight, but I have that option. OK. I'm going to move one corner and I'm going to move the opposite corner. And I'm going to say preview the conversion. It looks great. OK. Save this. There you go. Fair Isle, it remembers that I was using the punch card. Let's keep with that, okay. Let's go under our tensions and let's say, let's say options, units of measurement that we're working in centimeters right now and that we're really, for our tensions, we're looking at 28 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters. And that's easy, easy, easy to swap back and forth between centimeters and inches if you need to do that. View, repeats, 
Uh, let's do three and three again. And there you go. Done. Thank you.